And welcome back, guys, to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm going to look around the village a little bit um, for various <laughs> reasons, which I will go into in a minute. I don't believe there is a dude here that sells weapons. I want to sell my shields. See if I can make some extra cash. But I don't think a place here will actually buy it off me. So I'm going to talk to this guy and see if maybe he will. Welcome to Kakarika Village. Here about protection of whatever. Uh, I want to sell. Yeah, he buys the same shit. Uh, hmm. Do I risk my life? And hold on. I need to turn my fan on. I am dying of a heat stroke in here. I know that adds like an extra sound to the background, but you know what? I don't think you guys really mind. As long as I'm not dead. Alright, yeah, I'll count them. Thanks for the, you know, speech. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn that down. That's a little too loud for my liking. Come on, come on. And one more. There we go. Put it down on low. As long as I got some wind blowing on me, I should be okay. Yeah, no, I need to find some dude who can actually sell my, I can sell my weapons and shit too. No, I don't want to sell. 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 Why do you take so long to talk? Jesus, stop by in time. Sorry. Uh, got really angry right there. Ooh, apples. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, huh? Every time I get close. What? What? What's going on? All right. New clothes, new outfits. I know I'm trying to get your new clothes and your new outfits. Just got to give me some time. Got to work some stuff out. You know, the hard way. Oh my god, I've never noticed that there are children in this game. Holy shit. That was mine. I mean, I've seen kids, but not kids like that little. That's crazy. I don't know why I'm so mind blown by that. We're going to head over here for a minute. You know, I did see a friendly face. Hold on. I can't believe I'm going this hard just so I can get the goddamn stealth armor it's so early. I usually wait until I'm, like, already on, like, the second, uh, thing of the game. I'm really trying to be careful with my words here because I don't want to be, like, spoiling everything, you know? Oh, boy. I need to really pimp out my office space more. My room is, like, half bedroom, half office. But my office space is like just my video game shit. I call it an office because it just sounds cooler than saying, Oh, my game room. My room with my games. Hey, Beetle, get over here. I know you I know you buy everything. Come on. Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forgot my face, you can remember me by my Beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must have time for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? I should have sold my gemstones to you. Uh, look what I've got. Would you like to sell? Are you serious? He only buys the same shit. That everybody else buys. Come on. That's not fair. Goodbye. Yeah. You know what that means? I'm stealing everything I can. <laughs> I'm stealing, I'm breaking shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. What's in here? Nothing? Okay, how about I do this? I wonder if I'll get in trouble for this. Bro! Apples! Apples! They're everywhere apples was there something up there there was something up there and i already grabbed it uh what if i lift you up something no nothing okay that's fine arrows i'll take the arrows oh my gosh is that a pitchfork i i don't think i have the oh i do have room for it that's cool i'll use the pitchfork now to fight people i ate one of those apples it was nice and crisp don't you hate it when they when you bite into a soft apple Yes. Oh my god. I relate to that so hard. Alright, so I'm going to run through here. 
just really quick. I know I'm supposed to include... I know I'm, I'm just delaying the plot. I'm sorry to some of you. But to be fair, this is just giving you more content. So, and it's, it's making the journey more what it's supposed to be. Just an adventure. An adventure of things I already know of and do. Okay, you know what? I'm being cheap here, but I'm going to try going to the dueling peaks, but specifically, uh, the, 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 re the reedy shrine. I don't know why I'm doing the, okay, I'm gonna try not to be too loud. Ah, fuck that. No warm up. Sounds like ass. I was really hoping. Oh my god, my hoping came true. It came true. Get, take my sledgehammer, bitch. Rock salt and topaz. Oh my god, <laughs> we finally got topaz. I'm so happy. I've never been happier. Is that Lestalfos? Oh fuck my life. Okay, hold on, hold on. Take it, guys. Yeah, enjoy. Oh, you bitch! Did he really just fucking try my shit with that? Come on, swim. 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 Swim, swim, trunks, there for hunks. I'm just trying to fucking make some rupees. I only need like a hundred more, I think, now that I got the topaz. Topaz doesn't sell for an insane amount, mind you, but it sells for at least something, you know? I know there's a group of people over here that I should watch out for, but I don't know. They might have something here that might help me out. Like their guts. Where are your guts? Help. Give me your guts. What is this? What's this? What's this? There's magic everywhere. There's boy stuff in the- Flint! Really? Bullshit. I don't like that that's already breaking. So we're just gonna switch to the claymore. Apples and acorns and torches. Torches that give like two damage. <gasps> is there stuff up there? Is there something up there? I mean, obviously there is. There's a second floor of a thing, but whatever. Is there actually stuff up here? Oh my god, come on. Okay, let's break this shit. Apples. Man, these bacoblins seem to really like apples. They're always hiding them and stuff, like storing them away. Alright, we're gonna run this way. I promise, guys. I know we're almost at the 10 minute mark, but I promise we're gonna get more into the plot in this episode. I just really want to get that armor. And of course, I know you could be saying stuff like, Oh, why didn't you just do that, you know, in your off time? And the reason is because I'm stupid and I don't think about shit like that. <laughs> That's really the only answer I got for that question. Okay, so maybe if I jump to the Shivanoth shrine, I can jump to the other side and see if I can get stuff from a pyre. I'm trying to be smart and quick about it, guys, because I know I don't want to be wasting your valuable time that you could be watching my my videos. By the way, episode 6 already? <laughs> Where did the time go? Oh my god. Alright, she Vina. Let's drop down. Is there anything over here of value that I could use? I'm gonna actually yeah, that sounds like a good idea actually. Yes, there is actually stuff here that I can get. Alright, cool, 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 cool. But what's over here? Okay, this is just like a cool little drop off. We're going to they're going to the drop off? Why don't we just fry them now and serve them with chips? Sorry. I have not watched that movie in forever. I tried watching it with my son the other day, and I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Every time they open their mouths, I'm just like, oh. Because like, I know the whole movie. Okay, I'm going to give you the backstory if you're finding Nemo. When I was 12 years old, I... Uh, we had, th my family hosted Thanksgiving, like my mom and my dad, they hosted Thanksgiving with the rest of my family, which is really rare, mind you. Like, we don't 
do that in my family. Like, I haven't seen my brother since my mother's death. And that was, like, God, how many years ago now? Uh, seven years ago. So I haven't seen my brothers in seven years. Uh, whoop do you You know, it happens. But, um, yeah. So, the crazy thing was that we all hung out. But my brother had a niece. It was my first niece. Her name's Haley. She's very... She's very cool now. Uh, I think I have her Instagram, not 100% sure. Anyway, um, she, uh, she w was two years old, so, like, what were we going to, like, have her watch, you know? Like, I guess Finding Nemo. We had Finding Nemo, and that's all she wanted to watch once my mom showed it to her. Like, that's it. Like, that's all she wanted to watch. Like, nothing else was okay enough. So, like, we would try, we'd be like, hey, you want to watch, like, Barney or something? And she'd be like, Finding Nemo! And I'm like, oh, my God, two is going to be a terrible age to have a kid. Update on that. It's not the worst. The worst? 100%. Okay. I don't know how to word this. I didn't enjoy him being one as much because he was finally mobile and able to run around, but he still wasn't, you know smart enough <laughs> to be okay how i word this without sounding like a jerk about my kid because i love my son obviously um but one is just a really weird age like they're smart enough to like move around but they're not smart enough to like know what is right and what's wrong to do when it comes to being mobile i guess that's the way I, that's the only way i can put that um and yeah that's completely fine you know they he, he's just a little boy, and he does little boy things. I don't know what the point of these three are. Is there, like, a place I can, like, push them in? It's the only thing I can think of. Unless we're trying to get them through, like, this goal post here. Which ought... You know what? Why do I feel like that's correct? Why do I feel like that's what they intend me to do here, is to try pushing one of these down? It just It just makes sense, right? Yeah, there it goes. Send it through. Will it hit the will it get through the goal? Will I get through the goal? Come on guys. Get through the goal. Get through that goal. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Bro. Bye. What? How did I put that together? Dude. That was awesome. I loved that. Is there another one up here? There's like no sign that that was actually what you're supposed to do. I just had to. I just looked at the trail and went, "That's a little too sus." <laughs> All right. I have one last thing I want to try, and then I promise you, we will get to the fun part of this let of this let's play, which is the plot. Obviously, that's that's the only fun part of you know let's plays is the plot. Duh, not not the person doing the commentary at all. No, I have no point. Po I have no point. I have no point in this. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. That's, every single time I see things with gems, I'm like, I gotta do it. Oh, there's two. Oh, two for the price of one, Grandma. Amber and rock salt. Hell yeah. Uh, you know what? You look like you need a bomb. Amber. Amber will make me a d decent penny, not a lot. Whoa, what the hell? What's here? Oh, shit! It's one of the land ones. Fuck! No, 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 oh my god, fuck my life. Fucking god damn it. I just died. You know what that means? I think I lost all my Amber, and now that's gonna be like, here's your flint and rock salt! <laughs> fuck you. As long as I don't lose my topaz, I still can't believe I actually got that topaz. That blew my fucking mind. God, oh, well, this might actually be a good situation because I missed this one. Amber, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see you, I see you. And we'll kill that Octorok before we do anything else. God, that was dumb of me. And 
Whoa. That was cool. Come here, Octi. Mr. Octi Rocky. Hello? Mr. Octorock? Okay, I guess you're not here. I guess you got what you wanted. Let's kill him. Let's kill him and screw him out of getting something good. There's a chest here. Thank the gods for that, because I did not want to be using apples. Alright. Ooh, there's shrines here. And cool Stiflina! I'll take it. I see Amber. I see Amber. I see Amber. That was good. Amber again? Oh, you didn't let me lose all on it? Game, you didn't. Oh, that's so sweet of you. You did not have to do that for me, but you did. You made my life so much easier now, because I'm actually probably going to have the money now to actually, you know, get what I need. Oh, I appreciate that so much, game. I'm giving myself two more minutes to do what I need to do. By two more minutes, I mean a little bit more than that. Yeah, like three and a half. I'm giving myself to the 20 minute mark. Saving. Uh oh. Amber. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, oh, no, we're not. Rock salt. Yeah, we definitely are good. <laughs> After that bullshit. Oh my god. I have to. I have to. I have to. I don't. I have to. I I'm sorry. I just screw myself over big time. Bro. Oh shit, it's on fire. If that hits me, I'm dead. Like instant death. Oh, okay. And you? You can get one too. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god, dude, I hate that. Oh, come on, dude. Get over here. Come on. Fuck yeah. Got him. That's one. Okay, get those guts. Get those horns. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really nervous. Because I don't know where the other one went. Where is he? Where's the blue one? Where's the blue one? Oh my god! He's like, I'm gonna hear. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get your ass. I'm gonna get your ass. Ooh. Did I get him? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Hey, get over here. No, get over here. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, my God. Okay. You guys might be wondering why I'm so scared of him. It's because those dudes, one hit and you're done. They hit so hard when you only have three uh, hearts. It is ridiculous how hard they hit when you have very low armor. It is crazy. A seared steak, a coblin horn, and this guy is about to feel the feel the pain. Fuck yeah. Let's go. And I did that within my time limit. <clears throat> I think I officially made the money I need. And five arrows for only one? You bet it. You bet your ass I'm happy with this result. I never do these, by the way. An Illuminous Stone? All right, let's say we climb to the top of this little peak here and see if there's anything here to steal. Or by steal, I mean break. And if there is, then we'll, we'll do that. But if not, then we're just going to head back to Kakariko Village. That sound good? Looks like there isn't. But we do got a cool view. Let's look around, see if we can spot anything. Looking at the side of this, I'm not seeing a damn thing. Um, which means I think we're going to head back to Kakariko. Are y'all ready? I sure should am. Let's go. Man, that was so awesome. I, just so I could, <laughs> I don't even need the whole thing, but you know what? It gets out, it gets it out of the way. It's something that I wanted to get pretty early on. So getting it now, I honestly think is a pretty cool m move. You can't really customize it though, which sucks. But I like being quiet and I like looking slim. 
in video games. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm chubby in real life, but wearing, you'll see what I mean by slim in a minute. Is it too late in the day for me to buy my whatever? Oh, no, it's not. All right. Never mind. It's not a steal, by the way, you bitch. What is that? Don't read. I don't need the rumor mill right now. This, uh, I want to sell. What would you like to sell? I would like to sell this. Yep. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. All of these. Yep. All right. So right now we're. I think we're good to buy everything. But I'm still gonna sell all my 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 twelve dollars worth of uh, rock salt. You're welcome. Oop. Twenty five rupees. I'll take it. Yep. And you can have the luminous stone too. It's only seventy, but it's still worth it. And the cobbling horns. And don't forget the most important thing in my inventory, the Bacoblin Guts. Oh my god, I really need to do this. One of my neighbors is starting up their motorcycle. Thanks, guy. No! There we go, five. Ten rupees. Two thousand rupees! And we're about to lose all of it. Bye. I want this. Yep. I know it costs a lot. I want the stealth tights. Yep, I'll take them. Yep. And. Oh, the of course the. No, stop going for the rumor mill. I don't want it. <laughs> all right. And we got 200 rupees to spare. Hells to the yeah. And this is basically what I'm going to look like for most of the LP. <laughs> Not even kidding. I love wearing this. Let's do this. Without any further ado. And by further ado, I mean throw that throw that cuckoo away. Throw that chicken. Throw it away. I'm going to crack a can of soda. I know I've drank two, two episodes. I'm disgusting. I apologize. I just drink a lot in between cutscenes and... Whatever. I have to keep my throat fresh, and I know I could just drink water. I have a thing of propel next to me. I'll get to it. You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass on late uh, on upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we have heard the legends from Lady Imba herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. You're welcome, is what I think you mean. Uh, I, I should say, I guess. Who are you? A man? Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? L Lin... Um... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad at speaking. As for me, my name is Pa... 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 Oh, my name is Paya. Phew. I got it out. I knew I should be able to see, say that easily, seeing how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. Please, please hurry inside. Of course. Oh, why are you hiding? Ah! Master, Master Link, you, you're very close to me right now. I just, my, my grandmother's waiting for you in her abode. P please hurry to her. Oh my god. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Aww. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. 
Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Hmm. I see. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago the Kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to save to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. The words that the princess risked her life to impact you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I am. Ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to change charge forward and only encourage justice. With only courage and justice on your side. Sorry, the memory's not over to me. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. On Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, 
The princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago. Why do I sound like, uh, what's his face? In the next episode, guys, we're going to continue on with this. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in episode seven. What? Oh my god, it's been a week. What? Crazy. See you guys then.